All right, welcome back, everyone. In today's episode, we're going to explore adding custom data to the user session. So first off, let's just log in. And here we are in our protected screen. So I'm going to actually create a script tag so we can get access to our user data. And then here, I'm going to check just what's use auth gives us back and I'll throw this in a pre. So let's go back and sorry, let me just center this cause it's going to bug me. There we go. So here's everything that's, that's currently connected to our user data after we log in. And a very common thing that we might want to have is like a subscribed versus unsubscribed, you know, paid users and things of that nature. So how do we do that? That's what we're going to be looking into today. So we're going to go into our auth handler and we're going to add something called callbacks. So if you look at the docs here, callbacks are synchronous functions you can use to control what happens when an action is performed. Um, Extremely powerful, especially in scenarios involving JSON web tokens, as they allow you to implement access controls without a database and to integrate with external databases or APIs. So that's what we're digging into. We're going to define callbacks and let's do JWT, um, not with param. Well, we do want params, but we're actually going to destructure it into our token and our user. And then, oh, sorry, it's async. Okay. And then we're going to do an is sign in Boolean. So if this callback returns user, we're going to say true, otherwise false. And now, if is sign in, we're going to look into specific things about the token. So if our token has JWT, we're going to say user as any. Obviously, you can type your user however you like. So let's just say subscribed is equal to. OK, so if again, if there's a user, we're going to just append this subscribed value. And for now, we'll just keep it blank. Then we're going to return a promise dot resolve and we're going to pass in our token. And so what this token is then used is it's going to be passed into our session callback. And within here, we get our session and our token. You notice we're not passing in the user here. But within this session, let's just do a, um, we can now say session as any dot subscribed is equal to token dot, oh, token dot subscribed. Because that's what we're interacting with here. And we're going to pass it over to session. So let's just say is is subscribed because I'm going to want this and false. So now when we look over here and let's do a refresh, I think we actually have to sign out and sign back in. And you see we have subscribed is true. Now this is pretty crude because we don't have a, a database, but I guess one way you could look at it, this is kind of the same way we looked at our, how do we define it, our users in me. So remember here in users, um, let's say true. I'm going to edit this data a little bit and I'm going to move it into, let's just create a const file for now. Uh, let's say db.ts. And we can move our users over into our makeshift db. 
we'll export our users here and there we go and we're gonna want so that should be all good um, and then here we'll also do the same so we're gonna import users as if it's like a our actual database here and then we can just say if user I want to actually console.log the user here and see exactly how that works. So we're going to sign out, sign in. We should see, here we go, that's our user. So we're going to use a similar users.find. Um, let's see. Const me is equal to users.find. Um, and then how did I do this? Uh, User.email is equal to, let's say u.email is equal to user.email. And so if me, we're going to say user subscribed is true, else it's false. So here we'll go back into protected. We should still see, oh, looks like it broke something. I'm actually going to try and move it in here. I remember seeing undefines. I think that's, that's probably what that was. Yeah, there we go. Cool, it's subscribed. So now if we go back into our users and say false, we'll have to log in and log out. Uh, we'll actually do token.subscribed is equal to me.subscribed. Yeah, I think that should be good. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't refresh when I change the data. Like if I change our, our DB here to true, and then I refresh the page, it's still false. But I hope you're able to see how you might be able to change stuff, how you might be able to manage like a, a protected user. Because again, we can just do like h2 and then v if data dot user dot um, subscribed sorry did I do yeah subscribed it's not on the user it's just data dot subscribed we can say hey thanks thanks for subscribing and now again because this is false you don't expect to see it but we'll go over to DB oh yeah I have to re-log in Thanks for subscribing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I actually just digged into the notation a little further. What was happening here is the JWT callback is actually only called when the token is created or updated. So that's why we're only seeing changes during the login. Whereas the session callback, um, this is actually ran every time the session is checked. So in this scenario, when we're checking our protected page, my guess is because we're accessing this data, which is the session, it's checked. And so we're getting that refresh. So if we go into DB and we throw in a true here, we go back, it's already updated. So hopefully that made sense. I'll link the documentation, but I've been using this in personal projects and find it pretty powerful. So anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care.